Scientific notation. Let's start with why we're learning how to write numbers in scientific notation. So a big part of communicating information in science is quantitative. So quantitative just means that we're going to use numbers to convey information. So in chemistry in particular, we're going to be working with a lot of very big numbers. So one example is Avogadro's number, which we're going to use throughout the semester. And it's a very big number with a lot of zeros. I don't know about you, but when I'm writing out this number, it's very easy for me to leave one or more zeros out. So we want to use scientific notation as a shorthand way to write this number. That way we don't miss zeros or add in extra zeros. We're also going to be working with very small numbers. In this class, we're going to talk about the smallest possible units of matter, so atoms and molecules, so also very small numbers. And we can also use scientific notation to write these numbers in a more simple way. Okay. If we want to take a very big or very small number and put it into scientific notation, we can use a few steps. So the first step is we're going to move the decimal point either to the right or to the left to obtain a number between 1 and 10. So it has to be larger than 1 but less than 10. So this will be the decimal part of our scientific notation. So the number that goes out in front. Our second step is we need to figure out how many places we move the decimal. So if we move the decimal four places, that will now become our exponent. So however many places we move the decimal, that number will become our exponent. So the next thing is deciding, is that going to be a positive exponent or a negative exponent? If you move your decimal to the left, that means that the original number had to be very large. So we expect to write a positive number for the exponent. On the other hand, if we moved our decimal to the right to obtain the number between 1 and 10, that tells us that we started with a very small number and that our exponent is going to be negative. Created using Powtoon.